Hello once again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here. Welcome back to another episode of FTL on board the VSS Apocalypse. This ship has gone from being fairly mediocre to being a monstrous weapon of mass destruction. We have the four horsemen of the apocalypse on board with death, war, plague, and famine. We've also hired Walker and Varnus, two additional support crew that'll help us deal with problems such as borders and fires and hull damage. We also have a nice arsenal of burst lasers and halberd beam. I accidentally wasted one of my additional weapons, but that's okay. Maybe we'll find something else in the final area. We also have a drone bay with a defense drone and a hull repair drone, making us more or less invulnerable to damage. And we have plenty of other systems, like a fully maxed artillery beam, lots of engines, full shields, and all round good stuff. So we are in the Rock Homeworlds now, and hopefully we'll be able to find what we're looking for here, which is more people to fight. What do we find here? We find the burnt out hull of a rock mine layer drifting by. Behind the wreck drifts a live mine, an automated drone that drills into ship's hulls before exploding. It locks onto our ship's signature and heads our way. Well, let's reverse those thrusters quickly. It stresses our inertial dampeners, but we reverse course and outrun the mine. We prepare to jump off. Now, if we hadn't outrun the mine, we'd have gotten a 50-50 chance of defusing it or dying. Given that I wouldn't want anyone to die, I'd much rather just outrun the mine. Let's jump forwards. What do we have here? We have a loud thud resounds through the ship after jump completion. We've just shunted a rock fighter and he's already preparing to fire. Well, that's not very nice, is it? He's got some pretty big guns, though. Yes, he does. Alright, well, we'll wait for our halberd beam to charge up and then we'll, we'll hit them where it hurts which is basically anywhere. Here comes a missile, hopefully that misses. I'm not going to bother trying to block it. Yes, there we go, and burst lasers go. And we're going to fire right across all these rooms. No, not those rooms. Let's fire out of the shield room up through... Can I get all those? I'm not... <laughs> haven't used the halberd beam in a while. I don't remember all the rooms you can hit. If I fire up from here, can I get those ones? Yes, I think I can. Now, we missed the shields, but we did. I think I might have also missed the weapons. That's terrible. That's okay, though. And the beam weapon flies through there. The rock ship hails, saying, Enough! We were told aliens were a threat to our ways, and you have proved as much. Take this and leave us in peace. They offer three fuel drone part and 36 scrap, but unfortunately, that's not enough to buy their freedom. We do not accept their surrender. All right, and our burst lasers are primed and ready, so we're going to take them down with those, because we cannot miss thanks to that damaged helm. And down they go, you poor souls. Ship explodes, leaving behind two fuel, a missile, and 51 scrap. Definitely no complaints from me. Keep moving! Gotta make more money! We jump into an asteroid belt, but we do have four shields, so we're pretty well equipped. A rookie rock cargo ship has taken its orders too literally, and took the most direct route to their destination. Right through an asteroid field. They're confused, and jump wildly. Fire wildly as we jump in. Alright, they got some dual lasers, basic, uh, burst laser 2, so they got 4 power and lasers, and they got some rockets. We might want a defense drone in here, honestly, because they got a lot of rocket firepower. Let's turn off... no, let's not turn off the shield, that's silly. Um, turn off... Uh, none of this stuff is stuff I want to turn off. Turn off some engines, I guess. Turn on defense drone. It is going to be distracted by all the asteroids, but if we get lucky, like that, it'll shoot the missiles. So, power up, and... Blast those weapons. Hopefully it hits this missile too. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna. That's pretty far away. Although it did shoot already. It might hit. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm not one for waiting. We're gonna fry these guys while we're on the wait. And down they go. It looks like we did manage to intercept them, which is great. And the artillery beam fries through there, and they are now also trying to surrender. The rock ship moves into a defensive position, transmitting a white flag signal. They want to buy their lives, but not with enough. We will not accept that surrender either. We are definitely not playing the role of the friendly allies. We are playing the murderous apocalypse. Alright. Ship explodes, leaving behind two fuel, drone part, and 44 scrap. Very nice. Our drone pays for himself, and uh, we did some damage in the process. Alrighty, let's jump onwards. We do have to get all the way back over there, so we're going to take the long way back through all the beacons. What is at this beacon? Here we find a mantis ship adorned with rock body parts yet again. It would be a gorier display if they had internal organs, but the message is clear enough. This is a hunter of a very specialized kind. Let's put our rock crew on the comm, even though we know it'll end badly. The two aliens face one another over the vid screen. Cave-dwelling pebble man! yells the furious mantis captain. See, I paint my ship with your companions. I paint my ship with you. 
Well, that's not very nice. Time to kill the suckers. They are boarding us, though, and we're not very well equipped to deal with this kind of mantis force. Hopefully we can suffocate them out, but I'm not expecting too much there. We're going to slow them down with these guys and hopefully make their ship recall them. They do have missiles, too. That might be bad. Um, yes, it is bad. Hit us directly in the weapons. That's the one place we did not want to get hit. Varnus, you get over there and help. Um, that's small bomb missed. That's good. Pummel them in the weapons. Hopefully they'll do some damage. There we go. Took out the missile and the bomb. That is ideal. Hopefully we can fix our weapons quickly and get our halberd beam back online. Admittedly, it's not that important, but it is nice. Open up those doors, keep suffocating them out if we can. They are going to get at least one level of doors off, as I suspect. Halber beam is back online. Good, good. Hit them in the weapons. There we go. Now the weapons are entirely offline, and we can just chill in the med bay. Also, those mantises are coming to come deal with us, so hopefully we'll be able to power up our med bay when they break through, and we can just tank them out in the med bay. They're... they're, uh... Teleporter seems to be damaged, and one of them suffocated. That worked out for the best. In fact, we don't even need the teleporter on to do that. Close those doors. Oh, now they got away. Okay. That worked out nicely for us. They ran away trying to get help, and unfortunately, all we have to do is hit them with a single point of damage, and there they go. Nice try, guys. The ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, a missile, and 56 scrap. We have piles and piles of money. Piles and piles. Heal these guys up. We're actually going to heal War up as well. And then we should be good to go. Varnus, you're going to head to the oxygen rooms to clear up some space, as usual. And head you over there. Alright. Not too shabby yet again. We are in a pretty darn good position right now. Lots of spare money. We got lots of stuff. Lots of everything. <laughs> We're just doing good. There's a store over there, which is great. Hopefully they'll have some augments like automated reloaders and shield rechargers. So we'll have to head over there in a second and see what they've got. We arrive in an asteroid field and immediately begin evasive maneuvers when a loud clunk reverberates through the ship. At first we think the hull's been hit, but the noise came from rock intruders teleporting aboard. And by rock intruders, apparently they made a, meant a single rock intruder. That's okay though, we'll vent out this room, then we'll let him in before he breaks the door, then we'll close the door behind him. You can go in there now. And now you can't get back out. So, they don't have any missiles. They only have a bunch of lasers. They have one, two, three, four, five, six laser potential, but they're probably not going to fire in sync, so we don't have too much to worry about, and they should be missing quite a bit anyway. We're going to hit them in the weapons. Oh, hang on. Wait for the halberd to charge, then we'll hit them as a nice concerted blast. Well, that could be bad. No, we're good. We're good. Hit them, hit them, and... And halberd beam, please. Right through the shield room, up that way. There we go. I hope you weren't intending on using those shields. They are still trying to get into our weapons room. The rock ship hails, saying, Enough! We were told aliens were a threat to our ways, and you have proved as much! Take this and leave us in peace. Two fuel, two missiles, and 35 scrap is not enough for me. We will not accept your surrender, my friend. You are going to die. Die a painful, painful death. Now, he is going to be able to break into this weapons room before he suffocates. Unless he's really, really unlucky. We're going to pummel these guys, though, and they should go down in this salvo. Yes, they do. Your friends are dead, my friend, and war kills them in one shot. Your ship explodes, even behind two missiles, a drone part, and 41 scrap. Not bad there, war. You did a good job. The oxygen should come back into that room, no problem. And we have done good. Oh, there's another store right over there. That's good. We can check and see if we get any more augments in that one. What do we have here? With the local rock settlements so unwilling to trade with other life forms, an opportunistic mantis crew has postponed its piracy activities and set up shop to catch any passing trade. They don't have any augments. I don't need any of this other stuff, guys. I just need augments. Okay, maybe these guys will be more useful to me. Have you got any augments? That's all I want. We come across a rock trading post. Rarely they deal with outsiders, especially right beside that mantis trading post. But they need to sell the last of their stock and will pay their dues for their transgression when they return home. Ha! Perfect! Perfect, perfect. We'll buy the shield charge booster and the automated reloader. That is good. That's exactly what I wanted. And uh, I guess we'll put the rest of our money to nothing because that's all pointless. We could buy the teleporter just for the last stand, but honestly, I want to try and do this without the teleporter because I've been relying on the teleporter so much recently. What else do I want to put points into, though? What else is worth upgrading? At the moment, nothing. We have how many jumps left? We got one, two, 
three, four jumps left. So if we go one, two, three, four, that should work out great. Let's do just that. Anything at this beacon? It doesn't look like it. Yes, there is. The distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears it's being chased by a pirate. We can use improved weapons to fire a warning shot from our strongest weapon. Let's try that. Detecting the greater threat and potential reward, they turn to engage us. I hadn't actually seen that happen before, but whatever. Okay, they're going to be boarding us with a rock and a human, hopefully in a edge room. That's not as good as it could have been. They probably will manage to take out at least one layer of our artillery beam. But that's okay. I can handle one point of damage on the artillery beam. As fun as it is, it's not necessarily the ideal choice for this time. And that missile's probably going to hit us, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hit the doors. That's unfortunate. Varnus, get in there and fix those doors. We are going to hit them and make them regret what they just did. Alright, pummel them through those rooms, please. There we go. That'll make them regret their decision. Fix those doors, Varnus. You have a very limited time here. There we go. Now they're having a hard time getting out. They did manage to take a layer off the artillery beam, but it fires anyway, doing a magnificent amount of damage to those core systems. We're also going to blast them, which should kill them. Yes, they're dead. We're even going to send these guys in to fight, because why not? This pirate ship breaks apart. We gather three fuel, one missile, and 44 scrap before contacting the civilians. The ship we saved was badly damaged, however. Most of the crew accepts our offer to be dropped off at a nearby station, but one offers to join us. Well, welcome aboard, friend. The survivor gets on board. And they are... Ooh! A Zoltan! Free energy! That's good. That's probably the best possible thing we could have gotten from them. So, I'm actually going to swap these guys out in a second once War gets there, because I really want him to be a max-level fighter. Just for the... Just for the... The lore of it. That War himself is a max-level fighter. There we go, War. You are now as glorious as you should be in the tales of yore. Now, as long as you can kill that rock man, I have no problems with you. Keep going, War. Keep going. You got a lot of people to kill. Kremity, what a silly name. Alright, Kremity is our newest team member, despite having a ridiculous name. Actually, no, no, no. We're going to send Famine to go repair that. Not that he will be able to get his max level repair skill, probably, but we're going to send him in anyway. War can head back over to his station. Walker can get in the oxygen room. Actually, no. Walker's going to stay in here. Varnus is going to get in the oxygen room. Walker moves slower, so I want to keep him as ideally placed as possible, and I need to figure out where I want to put Kremity. Kremity. Hmm. Power off the med bay. Power up the artillery beam. What am I going to do with you? I don't have any more weapons to power. I don't have anything more to power. I could buy something, though. I could buy another point of dodge. That's probably the best thing I could put power into. I don't know if I'm going to really need any more drones, because I only have one drone I need on simultaneously anyway. So let's buy another point of engines and send Kremity to hang out with Death himself. How does it feel to share a room with Death, Kremity? I'm sure you have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. Let's actually take some power off, though, and we're going to spend a drone on some hull repair. Seriously, that's incredibly useful. Wow. <laughs> so good! The free repairs are just so, so good. Okay, power back into the engines. And let's jump again. We have uh, three more jumps to go before we have to get out of here and reach the last stand. We arrive and detect signs of a battle. A few ships are taking passes at each other near a small station. We don't know if it's a territory issue, a contest, or a rite of passage, but we decide it's probably best to stay out of it. So that's what we do. Okay, well, that's fine. That's unfortunate. That would be one of our last possible jumps, but I guess you can't win them all. Also, it looks like I estimated the rooms wrong, which is unfortunate. The captain of this ship claims he can provide services as long as we've got the scrap. And wow, does he have good shields. Unfortunately, his weapons don't think like they're going to be able to support him. The halper beam is quite nice, though. We'll decide to fight this ma this mantis, this uh, mercenary. Here we go. Mercenaries, like I say every time, are worse than rebels. Time to fight them. Now... We're going to be stockpiling our firepower here, so we can blast them in one concerted burst. And uh, we should be able to do that just about now, I think. And we're going to pummel the shields with our actual attack. And the halberd beam... <sighs> okay, good enough. We're going to hit the shields across those rooms as well. And we got two points of damage. Better than nothing. We knocked out their burst laser mark three, which is the most dangerous of their burst lasers. And the artillery beam did some nice damage as well. Once our halberd beam charges up a little bit more, we're going to hit them again, like so. And the halberd beam, very nice, is going to cut through here. 
They say that we are considerably more well-armed than they would have thought, and offer us four fuel, two missiles, and twenty-eight scrap, but we are almost at the end of the area, so fuel and missiles aren't worth anything, given that we have forty missiles already. We will not accept your surrender. And they immediately get exploded. The ship explodes, giving us three fuel, a drone part, and forty-eight scrap. Thanks for the stuff, guys. We did miss one area, that's unfortunate. I probably could have uh, done an extra jump in there. Ah, well. We jump to the exit, and decide to let bygones be bygones. What's here? The long-range beacon? Oh. We inform a nearby station to our flight from the rebels, and they give us 31 scrap and a firebomb. Hmm. Probably not something we're going to use, but whatever. We'll take it. Firebomb's a firebomb. Now, what else do we want to spend money on? Let's jump to the last stand and take a look at our final purchases. Here we go. The last stand it is. We arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Our access codes get us past initial security and the direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission, and our explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief, as always. They never believe us. Those fools. General Turzel of the NG Brigade is the only one who does, saying that our intel suggests a counter to all rebel technology, risking everything or saving nothing. We explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the Rebel flagship, and Tully responds. It's settled, then. The Rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will offer help, will offer? Will offer help wherever possible. Good luck. We also get 10 fuel, which is now an extraordinarily large amount of fuel. We don't need any of those repair stations, which is good because they're probably all going to get overrun long before we can use them. So let's just jump our way back to that flagship. Who are we going to have to fight on the way there? As soon as we arrive at the beacon, a rebel scout turns to engage. We power up weapons. They've got a bunch of drones and a bunch of mostly irrelevant weapons, so I'm not too concerned. The bomb could do some damage if it hits the wrong room, but we should be okay. Alright, charge up the halberd beam, because that's what we're going to need to get through their defenses, and we're going to hit them where it hurts. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Good. It is a firebomb. That is concerning. Fry those systems. Oh, good. We knocked out the firebomb before it could actually fire. So they're not going to be doing much to us. The artillery beam did a bit of extra punishment. They can't do a darn thing to us now. So we're actually going to focus on killing their shields to make sure things go a little bit faster. But it doesn't look like it was necessary because the halberd beam will kill them. There we go. We have a powerhouse ship here. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap, including two missiles, a drone part, and 45 of the metal itself. Alright, let's keep moving. we got to work towards those that final boss. Let's actually try and see if we can't get a little bit more money here. We can use it to beef up some of our additional weapons, giving us some cover if we take hits. We scan the area, finding signatures for only small trade vessel. However, as we approach, we see the silhouette of a rebel scout. We run the scanners again and discover the registration is fake. We move in to attack. They have a fake registration! Give me your license and registration, please. Alright. They're going to hit us with a missile, most likely, and probably with that Mark III burst, because we won't be able to intercept them in time. And they hit us in the med bay, jerks. I let you hit me, and you hit me in the med bay. I guess that's what I get. This is going to hurt, although we do have... Oh, hey, now! That's too much. No, I'm not cool with that. We're going to drop down a dodge and an oxygen level, turn on the defense drum. And they hit us again! I didn't say you could hit me. When did I say that? Hit them with the burst lasers. Knock those weapons out, please. And fry them with the halberd beam. There we go. Now they're not quite so dangerous. We're also going to send Varnus to go fix that breach. And fry across them with the artillery beam, which is lovely. Unfortunately, they dodge just before I can kill them. So we are probably going to take another hit. Although it's not likely, given the fact they just swapped their weapons over. We burst them in two important rooms, and they should go down. No, we missed a bunch of times. Of course we did. Halberd beam the most shields down. Yeah! Down they go. Nice try, suckers. Ship explodes, leaving behind three fuel, a drone part, and 61 scrap. That's a lot of money. Lovely. Turn off the defense drone, power back to the oxygen, and the shields, I mean the engines. Actually, we need power in the medbay at the moment. Heal them up. Anyone else injured? That's an important thing to check. Nope, everyone seems to be doing just fine. Everyone is just fine. Alright. Get out of that room, Varnus. You're going to head into the doors. Actually, head in the oxygen. Probably the closest choice. We're going to spend some of this extremely superfluous cash by powering up our piloting, by powering up our engines, our oxygen. We're going to do the 
Weapons Bay. We're gonna also power up. Um, should we power up our drone bay? Sure, power up the drone bay two times to make it extra resilient. That way, we have a whole bunch more spare damage capacity. It's gonna be mostly useful later. The reason we want the drones powered up is because we're gonna need them for the rockets. We don't want to take more rocket hits than we have to. Let's keep on jumping, though. That guy's gonna get closer and closer the longer we wait. A civilian ship is broadcasting a request for assistance, so we decide to help them. Let's help those guys from the Rebels. We move in to intercept. They have a whole bunch of beam drones, some lasers, and some rockets. Okay, well, I think we're cool with that for the time being. That looks like a hull missile, though, so we're gonna have to take that out pretty quick. It should be firing right about now, unfortunately, and it hit us in the weapons! I guess I shouldn't have waited. Hit them in the weapons, too. They're gonna repair it very quickly, but whatever. Varnus, get over there and help War fix his weapon station, please. We did take out their rockets, but that's going to be a very temporary fix. There goes the artillery beam, though, and that's going to cause some trouble. Lovely. Once we get weapons online, we can fire our burst lasers again into the weapons. There we go. They're trying to power up their FTL in order to escape. That is a little bit problematic. So, Varnus, you're going to head back over to your middle of the ship, power up the halberd beam once again, and our next salvo is going to go straight for the helm, I think. We want that thing out of there. Go, go, go. There we go. They're not going anywhere until they get that fixed, and the artillery beam prevented that from being a problem. With the rebel destroyed, we feel we feel free to contact their victims. We gain a few of drone part and 66 scrap, and contacting the survivors... Oh. They were pr primarily refugees. They offer us our sincere gratitude, and unfortunately, that's it. Well, better than nothing, I guess. It really is nothing, but whatever. Whatever. Power up the med bay, heal up our good friend War, and send him back to the weapons. Alright, War, you have done us good so far. Hopefully you continue to do so. Can we reach them yet? Not quite. That's silly. Okay. One more jump and we should be able to intercept them. And we're also probably going to spend a hull repair drone to heal ourselves back up to full health before we fight them. Although this sector is still under Federation control, a small scout is skipped by the fleet. We move in to engage. They got rockets and drones and lasers and all kinds of stuff, but nothing too worrying. That rocket is quite big though, so I probably will engage my defense drone to block it when it fires. Until then, I want my power where it is. And... Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go! Fire the weapons! Hit them! Ah, they got the missile launched! Okay, we are going to take power out of the engines entirely. Turn on the defense drone, that should block the missile. Go, 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 go! Oh, we blocked it. Good, that was... <laughs> I thought that was our defense drone. But that is, in fact, it. We are going to fire our laser up through here quickly. I think we're probably going to miss everything important, but we might get something. Oh, good, we got four hits in there, actually. That was pretty good. Artillery beam came in, did a bunch more damage. Lovely. Our burst lasers are ready again, so we can hit their weapons. Hopefully stop them from firing the rocket another time. Yes, we did. Looking good so far, we can actually turn off our defense drone now, put power back into engines, since that's where it's needed, hit them in the weapons, and halberd them to an early grave. Down they go. And the artillery beam, again, just for good measure. The ship explodes, giving us three fuel, a missile, and 65 scrap. We are seriously a force to be reckoned with now. This is no makeshift apocalypse. Alright, fill up with our hull, please, hull repair drones. We have a pile of resources, lots of money, a kick-ass ship. We are looking good. And that only cost us one repair drone to do. Wow. Fantastic. Alright. It's time to spend this money as well. Pump it into our remaining systems. I suppose our engines would be another good choice. We could do the med bay again and the oxygen again. Weaker rooms are always nice to power up because they don't cost as much and you get more out of them. I think we're going to do one more in the sensors and that'll probably do us for now. We are getting pretty close to maxed out too, so... Hard to complain about this here ship. Varnus getting the oxygen room. And we're gonna jump to the fray. Here we go, Rebel Flagship. Let's see how you like it. This might be bad. We'll have to wait and see. This is it. The Rebel Flagship. If we can destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's simply no turning back. And they're cloaked. We can't cloak to counteract it, so this may be a much harder fight than it normally is. Without our cloaking and our teleporter, we're relying a lot more on brute force and luck. We're also going to need to power up our drone quickly before I forget. Um, although I'm not sure what to power off for that, honestly. We could take two power bars out of the engines, but that's a big hit to the engines. 
Regardless, we need the defense drone active, and I guess we could turn off our oxygen temporarily. If we toggle the oxygen on and off as we need it, we could probably hold onto that power bar indefinitely. Like right now we don't need it, so we can have it off. And we're powering up our weapons, they're shooting at us, put oxygen back in the engines. Here come some rockets, hopefully we dodge those. Nope, we hit, they hit us with one of them, that's not so bad. Here come some ion blasts. Our weapons are ready, so we need to hit them before I forget what I'm doing. Fire, and we are going to fire through here. We want to knock that weapon out as quickly as possible, so we're going to hit it hard as we can. They have stopped firing at us, so we're taking the power bar back into... Actually, we'll put power bar into the oxygen there. Ooh, nice shot there, artillery beam, right down the center of the ship. Probably could have done more damage anywhere else, but that was a nice, cool-looking shot. Actually, if we pump our oxygen up level 2 while our uh, shields are ioned out anyway, we can heal them up really fast, and then we take power bar out, put them in the engines. Uh, nothing quite as much as I'd hoped. Not quite the dodge level I was looking for there. Alright, we'll have to try again in a second. Our weapons are almost charged as far as the burst lasers go. Come on, drone, this is your chance for glory here. They hit us, but it didn't do any damage, so that's okay. Here come the drone. Oh, that's a lot of hits. That was not so good. Come on, put that fire out. And we're going to hit them again. Oh, they fully healed that thing already. Hit them again. Good, and we're going to halberd beam right through there. Hit that guy. Their shields are down, but we are going to kill them before we get a chance to kill the guy in the rockets. That is a little bit unfortunate. Although, honestly, I'm saying it's unfortunate that we're going to win. Fry them, guys! And the artillery beam did the job for us. Alright, done. Done deal. Just as we gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. In this new state, we'll have to get closer to the base to be a threat, so we bought some time. We'll have to keep up the assault. We get three fuel, drone part, and 22 scrap. Lovely! Let's close those doors, put power back in the oxygen. Alright. Not a problem, actually. Taking power out of the oxygen was surprisingly beneficial in this fight. We're going to need our defense drone in the next stage to hopefully knock away the enemy boarding parties. But until that happens, we might as well use it as we need it. Power to the hull repair drones. Fix up that two damage we took. There we go. Good as new. Power off the hull repair drone. Back in the engines. And I guess we're good to go again. Let's chase him down. We could jump here first and then chase him down. Why not? Let's jump here first and then chase him down. Taking the casual route to killing this boss. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay then. We'll jump over here. I guess it's because the flagship was in this space before. We chase down the flagship and discover it is still heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it has redirected considerable power to drones, so we have to get ready for battle. It is going to try and board us immediately, so we're going to be powering down our engines and our oxygen to bring up the hull repair drone. Defense drone. That's expensive. Defense drone. Hopefully you'll be able to knock out that boarding drone. Yes, you did. Poor guy. They're going to fire another one in a second. Here it is. You're not going to be able to hit him. You did hit him in time! You are brilliant! <laughs> You're the best defense drone. Hit the next guy, too. Oh, you missed him. Try, try again, try again. Oh, he's going to hit us. That's too bad. But you managed to hit two of them. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> that is pretty darn good. All right. We need to do some damage now, though. We are going to... Oh, without our oxygen turned on, that breach is going to cause problems. Didn't even think about that. Huh. Well, let's try and fight them as best as we can. We may have to turn some of our weapons off later down the line. We're going to try and pummel down their shields quickly so we can knock out their drone control. Actually, I don't know. Let's try pummeling down their shields. And we're actually going to fry their drone control right now. There we go. They're firing more lasers, so we need higher dodge chance if possible. That's not really going to happen, though. Ooh, we took a bunch of hits there. Here come some rockets. Hopefully our drone does its job. Artillery beam frying up there. That's good. I am a little bit preoccupied here, watching all these things going on. They did hit us in the artillery beam. That is a little bit unfortunate. We have to vent those rooms out. We need that oxygen, though, so we're going to have to hit them again pretty hard. We're going to hit them as soon as our weapons are recharged, like so. There we go, and we're going to hit them with the halberd beam once again through the drone control. So if that thing isn't working, we're much better off. Okay, they only have two health left. This is going really fast. Unfortunately, we're taking a lot of hits, too, which is not so good. Our oxygen is also quite low. We're going to turn up our dodge as high as possible during this stage. We're going to temporarily turn off the defense drone, because they haven't fired any missiles. Here come some more lasers. We need to dodge as many of those as possible. And we're actually doing quite well there. Wow, we did a lot of good dodging. Now we can kill them. Goodbye, guys. Hope you liked being dead. 
Also, Defense Drone, you're going back online right now to block those missiles. Blocked one of them, took a hit, two hits though there. Just as we gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. In this new state, they will once again have to get close to the base to be a threat. So we have about some time, we'll have to keep up our assault yet again. One fuel, one drone part, 21 scrap. Now we need to do some repairs. <laughs> Most of the damage we took was just deoxygenated rooms. But there are still some problems. Take power into the oxygen. Now we should be able to happily gain oxygen despite the holes in our hull. Take that game. I wonder if we can actually reoxygenate those rooms with holes in them. That'd be pretty hilarious if we can. It looks like we are too. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Famine, you're gonna go take care of all the repairs, because that'll hopefully level you up, although I'd be surprised if it did. This one doesn't seem to have any oxygen problems, you can just chill out in there. This is not seeming to heal up though. Maybe if we fix this one, this one will get more oxygen. Well, it? Yes it did! That's amazing. Alright, war, you get in there. You're gonna have to go kill that guy. Now we're gonna send... Actually, no, hang on, hang on. Get out of there. You get over here. Get, get... Okay, Famine's going in first, War's going in second. That's amazing. We can just ignore the fact there's a hole in the hull and kill this guy without any concerns. Awesome. Alright. Down goes the boarding drone. It'll take a while, but eventually he'll die. And then... Famine can work on healing the damages. War, you can get out of there. You don't need to be doing that. Famine, you're normally not going to level up here. Nah, you don't even get any credit for that. That's crazy. Apparently, hull breaches do not count. Alright, well, that's okay. We are going to move our power back to where it's supposed to be. Oops, that was loud. Um, Yeah, move power back where it's supposed to be and move forward, I guess. We can turn off our defense drone, put it back in the beam, back in the engines, and get ready to fight this sucker. Now we can jump here, do an extra fight before we go fight the boss. Let's do that. Maybe this one will actually have something at it. Does it? Yes, it does. Long-range scanners show this system is empty of any capital ships, so clearly it is not a strategic value. However, we find FTL signatures showing a rebel scout just showed up nearby. Alright. They have got boarding drones, too. I saw the boarding drone fire, so we're going to be needing to defend against that guy. Defense drone, go! Shoot the boarding drone! <laughs> oh, you missed again! And they're gonna hit us in the engines, aren't they? Yes, they are. It's the worst possible room they could have hit. Thankfully, we do have infinite health, so even if we take a lot of damage here, we won't die. But it is still unfortunate that we got hit like that. Oh well. Alright, we need to get oxygen back in that room pronto, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to take mm, one... You know, we can take a whole bunch of power out of the shields, because we don't need the shields on at all. Power up our shields. Uh, send the rock in there. Power up our oxygen. Now we're good. We can just sit here and deal with this. Um, although you are going to take some damage there, Kremity. That's a two-shot laser, yeah. So they can break down our laser, our shields, but they can't do any damage to us after doing so. Kremity, you're going to temporarily get out of the room. Walker's going to take your spot, and then you're going to come back in. They did fire a missile, but hopefully that'll get blocked. And now it's our turn to take our retribution. Fire! Awesome. And now you are going to kill them. Fry them with deadly lasers. And the artillery beam. They have one health remaining, the poor suckers. Down goes the drone. They can't afford the energy to fire another one, so that's not a problem. And we can now kill them with one final barrage from our burst lasers. Nice try, guys. You almost did some damage. Send them over to the med bay, him over to the med bay, and death, you can go over to the med bay too. Down they go. Ship explodes, leaving behind a missile, a drone part, and 54 scrap. Not that we really need the money at this point, but I figured we might as well fight them since we had time to spare. We'll heal up a little bit, and uh, send things back the way they were. Actually, we can also buy another power bar and something. Let's power up our drone bay again, just for fun. Okay, now, death, back to the engines. Kremity, go to support. You guys look like you're in the right positions. We're going to power up our hull repair drone to heal us after that tiny bit of damage we took. Power down those, put them back into the systems we want. We are back up to full health, which is magnificent, and time to jump on to the boss. Here we go, the final fight. Ah, they're going to take that beacon over anyway. Jump to the final fight, make them regret their actions. <laughs> We're not certain how they're able to keep fighting with the amount of damage they've sustained. Looks like they've transferred power to the teleporter as well as to their Omniblast, the super weapon. We'll have to be prepared, because this, as they say, is in fact it. Alright. The Zoltan shields shouldn't be too much of a problem with all these lasers, and they were idiots and teleported their crew into an airlock. 
Who, where are these guys going to go? Probably to another airlock. <laughs> I forgot I didn't actually kill any of their crew, so we are going to have a lot of borders during this stage. Well, we killed some of the crew, but not a lot of them. Here come some rockets. We need those defense drones online pronto. So we are turning off a layer of shields temporarily to turn on a defense drone. Knock out some of those missiles, please. They hit us in the shields and the other edge. This shouldn't be a problem. Taking a hit in the shields, however, is a problem. They're teleporting in again into the shield room, which was just damaged. Not ideal. Get in there. Oh, actually, they're trying to come in the med bay. I'm cool with that. Get in there, guys. All right. They're going to suffocate in no time. We're going to take power out of the... Nothing. Oh, not even shooting them. Come on, Vanguard. Get your act together here. We're also going to use the Halberd Beam to blast away some shields. They are coming with the Omni Blast and the drones at the same time. And they hit us in the helm like jerks. Thankfully, it doesn't actually hurt our evade at all at this stage. We do, however, want... Whoop, 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 whoop. Turn off the defense drone. Turn up the engines. Uh, can I even turn up the shield in time? I don't think so. We turn off the oxygen. Power up that as well. Didn't quite... Oh, we just survived. We are going to take another hit in a second, though. And we probably can't recharge fast enough to block them all. We did. Awesome. Okay, we'll turn that back down. Turn that back down. Power up the oxygen. These guys... Oh, I need to power up the medbay, too. Otherwise, these guys are going to die. Power up the medbay temporarily. Turn on the oxygen. Fix that problem. Close those doors. Everything's happening at once. We're almost ready to fire. They have teleported more crew onto our ship. Thankfully for us, they teleported them into another room that is very low on oxygen. They fired more missiles. This is a hectic, hectic fight. Turn on the defense drone. We are going to... Um, power... Blast them in the shields, I guess. Awesome, and Halberd beam them through the teleporter and the missiles. Awesome, they managed to hit our Halberd, our artillery beam, but nothing super important. This is crazy, crazy action. Alright, power out of the med bay back in the shields to block that attack. We're probably going to get a uh, overblast in a second. These guys are suffocating now. They are attacking different doors as well, which will slow them down. We should actually be able to kill these guys before they get to do much else to us. So, here goes nothing. Fire the burst lasers. And Halberd beam them for good measure, and down they go. Nice try, you suckers. All right. Victory. Thanks to the valiant efforts of the VSS Apocalypse, the end of the world was brought upon those fools. There might be two P's in there, I feel stupid if there is. And her successful crew with Death, War, Fang, and Plague, Walker, Cremity, and Varnus, we have defeated the Rebel flagship. The Apocalypse has done its duty. Fantastic. Ooh, that's the best score ever, I think. Congratulations, we've defeated the Rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation over the Rebels. I feel really stupid if it's a misspelled name now. We gathered 5,458 score. Let's take a look at that does on the scoreboard. Yes, that is our highest score ever, beating the VSS Fancy Pants, one of my efforts in the Crystal Cruiser where I learned why people like the Crystal Crew in boarding parties. That was a fun game. But the apocalypse has been brought upon those fools. Very nice. We've met some new records. 53 ships defeated, 100 beacons explored. Very nice. Any achievements in this board? No, I didn't think so. That is high above anything else. Since the VSS Nutrition, the only other Federation cruiser we actually managed to beat the game with. Nowhere near as many points as the VSS Apocalypse. That was a fantastic run, I have to say. Whew! A very high management at the end, but it worked out very well. If you've enjoyed the episode, we are out of time, so I will have to ask you now to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor, wrecking the universe in the VSS Apocalypse. And I will have to see you next time. Bye bye